And what can I get you? A vodka tonic. From the sun-soaked beaches of California to the icy landscapes of Alaska, we're mixing up a cocktail of different flavors, colors, and traditions. We're talking about the libations that define each state. Allow us to be the designated driver as we take you on a tour of the 50 most iconic alcoholic concoctions from every state. It's my first drink of the night. Test me a little. Alabama Yellow Hammer. It's sweet home Alabama. In the heart of Alabama, the Yellow Hammer cocktail reigns supreme, especially on game day at Galette's, a restaurant bar in Tuscaloosa. This spirited sipper, named after the state bird, combines vodka, light rum, amaretto, orange juice, and pineapple juice. Garnished with a maraschino cherry, it's the drink that scores a touchdown every time. Touchdown! Alaska Duck Fart did you just fart? Alaska's signature drink, duck farts, might sound foul, but it's a local delight. Originating in Anchorage, this drink, blending Kahlua, Bailey's Irish Cream, and Crown Royal Whiskey, earns its quirky name from the sound people make after drinking it. Arizona Tequila Sunrise Arizona, where the tequila sunrise's genesis is as sun-drenched as its namesake. With disputed origins, some claim it was Arizona in the 30s, others Sausalito in the 70s, this iconic drink takes the spotlight at Northern Arizona University's homecoming. The OG blend of tequila, creme de cassis, lime juice, and soda water is the toast of the Grand Canyon State. Tequila is macho! California Wine did you know that 80% of the nation's wine is made right here in California? California is the undeniable wine heavyweight and is the state responsible for 81% of all U.S. wine production. It's also the fourth largest global producer. From the iconic vineyards of Napa and Sonoma to the Central Valley, sipping a world-class glass of wine is as easy as a coastal California breeze. Remarkable. Colorado Bulldog Go Bulldog! The Colorado Bulldog strides into the cocktail scene with a fizzy twist. Resembling a white Russian, this concoction blends the classic vodka, coffee liqueur, and cream, but takes it up a notch with a splash of Coke. While its origins may be a tad mysterious, some tales link it to the English Bulldog, once the mascot of Colorado State University, before the team evolved into the Aggie Rams. It's a hazy mystery. Connecticut, Moscow Mule. And could I get a Moscow Mule? The Moscow Mule carries a hint of local pride. Crafted by John G. Martin of Hartford, this concoction earned its name from the vodka it features, a nod to Russia, while Mule is the term for drinks made with a ginger beer and citrus combo. Ah, Adam Mule. Delaware Dogfish Head. We spent the night cutting open hundreds of dogfish to see if they had diamonds inside. In the small state of Delaware, Suds aficionados swear by Dogfish Head as the quintessential state drink. Born in 1995, this brewery in Milton has evolved into an empire, stretching its reach to restaurants, bars, and beyond. We expanded so fast. Florida Mimosa. I once left orange juice in my fridge so long it tasted like a mimosa. In the sunshine state of Florida, the go-to drink is a classic mimosa. With over 90% of U.S. orange juice hailing from the sunshine state, it's no surprise that locals blend this liquid gold with sparkling wine for the perfect brunch companion. Mimosas coming up. Georgia Scarlet O'Hara. You dressed as Scarlet O'Hara for Halloween. In the heart of the Peach State, Georgia's most famous cocktail is the Scarlet O'Hara. Named after the quintessential Southern Belle, this cocktail boasts a blend of cranberry juice, a hint of lime, and the unmistakable warmth of Southern comfort. Me and Cleveland and Joe are just wrecked on Southern comfort. Hawaii Mai Tai. Aloha. This tropical concoction featuring the vibrant notes of orange, lime, and rum perfectly complements the stunning beaches of the Aloha State. State. It was so popular in the 40s and 50s, it actually depleted the world's rum supply. I prefer rum. Rum's good. Idaho Canadian Whiskey. This is nice. What is this? Canadian Whiskey. <laughs> Canadian whiskey is the go-to elixir to brave those chilly winters. The residents appreciate not just the taste, but also the friendly price tag. No wonder Black Velvet takes the crown as the state's best-selling booze. The sales department makes sales. Good. Illinois Jameson Irish Whiskey. Whiskey. Irish. 
Illinois embraces its Irish connection with this defining drink, Jameson Irish Whiskey. A favorite among the state's residents, Jameson's blend of grain and single pot still whiskey crafted from Irish barley makes it Illinois' spirit of choice. I choose you. Indiana, Jaeger bomb. Jaeger! In the Hoosier state of Indiana, Jaegermeister takes the lead as one of the most sought-after spirits. To kick things up a notch, Hoosiers swear by the Jaeger bomb, a shot of Jaegermeister plunged into a pint of energy drink. It's the local mantra for a swift energy boost that gets you rolling in the heart of the Midwest. I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Iowa, frozen blue water. As in frozen water. In the heart of Iowa, where West Okoboji Lake steals the spotlight, the state's signature sip is the frozen blue water margarita. Inspired by the naturally blue lake, this cocktail mirrors the classic margarita with tequila, cointreau, and lime, but adds a vibrant touch of blue curacao, turning every sip into a splash of Iowa's lakeside allure. I'm feeling blue. Kansas, horse feather. You need another drink? The horse feather emerged in the 90s, galloping its way to stateside popularity. A spicy surprise for those unfamiliar with Kansas libations, this cocktail features Old Overholt rye whiskey, ginger, lemon juice, and a dash of Angostura bitters. A Kansas toast to flavor. In fact, let's toast the toast. Kentucky Mint Julep. When the smoke clears, Abraham Lincoln will be speaking Hindi and drinking mint julep. The mint julep isn't just a drink, it's a tradition etched over two centuries. A staggering 120,000 of these classics grace highball glasses during the two-day Kentucky Derby weekend. Crafted with bourbon, sugar syrup, and fresh mint, it's the taste of Kentucky history. Tastes great, Stewie. First time here? Well, it only takes a second to hit that subscribe button, so go ahead and smash it. Thanks. Louisiana Sazerac. Only one that can be called the official cocktail of New Orleans. The Sazerac stands as Louisiana's crown jewel cocktail, originating in a local apothecary in 1838, marking the world's first ever cocktail. The modern blend features rye whiskey, absinthe, and bitters. Drink would be good. Okay. Maine, Allen's Coffee Brandy and Milk. Allen's Coffee Brandy is the number one booze in Maine. The Allen's Coffee Brandy and Milk, often dubbed the sombrero, is a vital part of local culture. Legend has it that fishermen invented the brandy while trying to stay warm on the job. With a sweet yet slightly bitter twist, Mainers mix it with milk to hide the aftertaste, making it a coastal classic. We're out of milk. Maryland, Black Eyed Susan. Mountain Lily or Black Eyed Susan? The Black Eyed Susan is the official drink of the Preakness, Baltimore's annual horse race. This delightful concoction blends vodka, St. Germain, pineapple juice, lime juice, and orange juice. A beautiful representation of the state and the perfect way to celebrate a winning day at the track. Let's go party, mushroom man! Massachusetts, Cape Codder. It's cranberry juice cocktail, it's all sugar. With its beautiful cranberry bogs, it's no surprise that the Massachusetts state drink is cranberry juice. So, of course, their most popular alcoholic drink would feature the state juice. The Cape Codder, a classic vodka cranberry with a lime twist, is the local toast to Massachusetts' tangy charm. Go back to Massachusetts, pinko! Michigan, the Hummer. You and me, Hummer time. The Hummer cocktail, originating at the Bayview Yacht Club, cruised to national fame courtesy of Jerome Adams. Its popularity spread like wildfire, with bars across Michigan and even beyond clamoring for the recipe. Crafted with white rum, Kahlua, and two scoops of vanilla ice cream, the Hummer is a sweet taste of the legend of Michigan. Sweet, sweet! Mississippi, Mississippi Punch. Okay. Punch me. Mississippi Punch isn't a recent party concoction, but a drink steeped in history going back to the 1860s. Blending French cognac, American bourbon, and Jamaican rum, this cocktail isn't just a tasty sip, it's Mississippi's historical legacy in a glass. Glass half full or glass half empty. Missouri Budweiser Beer. 
It took me four Budweiser's to get to sleep. The legacy of Anheuser-Busch, America's iconic brewery, has thrived since it was introduced in St. Louis, Missouri in 1876. Today, this brewery's pale lagers are among America's favorites, with its headquarters and flagship brewery proudly rooted in the Show Me State. Show me, show me. Montana Whiskey Ditch. You ain't getting frisky without that whiskey. In the rugged expanse of Montana, where the people are as sturdy as the mountains, ordering a drink with a ditch means with water. The signature Whiskey Ditch embodies this spirit, a straightforward concoction where the strength of whiskey meets the pure essence of Montana. Montana, served with a splash of water. No frills, just frontier flavor. I like my whiskey neat. Nebraska Red Beer. Give me a beer! Give me a beer! In the plains of Nebraska, they may call it Red Beer, but it's akin to Mexico's Ojo Rojo, a simple marriage of beer and a splash of tomato juice. Some swear by its hangover remedy, while others simply relish the added zing to their brew. I'll go with that. Nevada, the Nevada Cocktail. Las Vegas? The Nevada cocktail captures the essence of Las Vegas perfectly, sweet and sour at the same time. Crafted with rum, grapefruit juice, bitters, and lime juice, it's a libation that pays homage to a state synonymous with entertainment, drinks, and a roll of the dice. Maybe we put a few dollars on four. New Hampshire, apple cider. You are the apple of my eye. In New Hampshire's autumn, apple orchards steal the show. As tourists descend for apple picking, the official drink since 2010 is a simple pleasure, hot apple cider. With over 1,400 acres of orchards, New Hampshire's embrace of this comforting drink mirrors the warmth of its fall foliage. This is the same Dave whose favorite season is autumn. New Jersey, Jack Rose. We'll be even stronger than Jack and Rose. Pride in apples runs deep in the garden state of New Jersey, and that's embodied in the Jack Rose cocktail. Created by bartender Frank J. May in the early 20th century, it combines applejack, grenadine, and lemon juice. With the resurgence of the craft cocktail movement, the Jack Rose has regained much of its original popularity. I'm too popular now. New Mexico. Mexico Chimayo Cocktail. Hola, amigos! In the enchanting landscapes of New Mexico, the Chimayo Cocktail takes center stage. Born in the 1960s at Rancho de Chimayo, this delightful concoction marries tequila and apple juice, dancing with the zing of fresh lemon juice and the sweet embrace of creme de cassis. Excelente! New York Long Island Iced Tea. Three Long Island Iced Teas, please. The Long Island Iced Tea emerges as a heavy-duty New York libation. Bursting with vodka, rum, gin, tequila, and triple sec, it's a true melting pot of spirits. Tempered by a dash of sweet and sour mix and a cola splash, it's the quintessential New Yorker's remedy. You could have a Long Island Iced Tea. North Carolina, the Cherry Bounce. You want my cherry, Dad? Originating at Isaac Hunter's Tavern, just 10 miles from Raleigh, the Cherry Bounce claims its throne as the official cocktail of North Carolina's capital city. Beyond Raleigh, this beloved concoction spans the entire state, blending cherries, sugar, and your choice of hard alcohol. Just choose one. North Dakota, beer. Hey, Johnny, how about a beer, huh? Ooh, a couple Charles Bukowskis? In the vast expanses of North Dakota, beer reigns supreme as the state drink, and for good reason. Boasting one of the highest per capita beer consumptions, with each adult drinking over 40 gallons annually, it's not just a drink, it's a way of life. Beer is great because life is hot. Ohio, Bloody Mary. I'd like a Bloody Mary. In Ohio, where tomato juice claims the title of the official state juice, the Bloody Mary emerges as a signature drink. Bartenders across the state craft their unique versions of this iconic brunch cocktail, but the core always remains a blend of tomato juice, vodka, and a medley of spices. Spice up! Spice up! Oregon Negroni. A Negroni? A uh, no what? The Negroni claims its throne as a state favorite. It's so beloved, the city of Portland dedicates an entire week to it annually, with local bars and restaurants vying to craft the finest Negroni. This classic cocktail features a blend of gin, Campari, and sweet vermouth. Let's make a Negroni. Oklahoma, Roy Rogers. Prepare to drink a Roy Rogers! 
The Roy Rogers Mocktail is an iconic drink paying homage to the king of cowboys himself. As someone who didn't drink alcohol, his namesake drink elegantly blends grenadine, cola, and a maraschino cherry. Grenadine turns cold cola into a Roy Rogers. Pennsylvania Craft Beer. I'm so pissed at him, I'm gonna drink the last craft beer. In Pennsylvania, beer is more than a beverage, it's a craft and an economic powerhouse. Although no longer the top craft beer producer, the steak flings to the number two spot with a robust annual consumption of almost 25 gallons per adult. That's huge. So huge. Rhode Island, Rhode Island Red. It's red. The Rhode Island Red Cocktail packs a punch as robust as its namesake state animal. Crafted with tequila, chambord, lemon juice, orange bitters, and ginger beer, it's a testament to the state's bold flavor and the spirit of doing things big, even in the smallest corners. She is small. But she is mighty. South Carolina, sweet tea and vodka. Get the Mad Hatter on the horn, I'm having a tea party. Nothing gives Southern vibes quite like sweet tea. Although the iconic concoction was born in Virginia, Firefly Distillery in South Carolina pioneered the fusion of sweet tea with vodka. The result is an all-natural beverage, perfect for crafting cocktails. I drink tea all the time, I think I know what I'm doing. South Dakota, South Dakota Martini. Another martini, Paul. This is not your typical martini. In the plains of South Dakota, the South Dakota martini stands as a classic, unpretentious libation. Simplicity defines this drink, a light draft beer with the punch of a briny pickle spear. It's simple. Tennessee Moonshine. Spuckler Family Moonshine! Once an illegal elixir crafted by the light of the moon, Tennessee's moonshine history took a turn when laws permitted spirit distillation. The Old Smoky Distillery now holds the affection of every Tennessean, transforming the once secretive concoction into a legal libation, celebrated for its storied past and smooth flavor. Smooth. Real smooth. Texas Margarita. All right, I'm I'm gonna make more margaritas! Although the margarita evokes images of Mexican beaches, it was born in Texas. Invented by Pancho Morales, a Mexican truck driver, the classic tequila blend, featuring tequila, triple sec, and lime juice, found its inception in El Paso. I'm just making margaritas. Utah Polygamy Nitro Porter. All well, totally possible except for the polygamy. In the land of unique liquor laws and low alcohol consumption, Utah stands out with Wasanch Brewery, the state's pioneer brewery. Leading the charts is the Polygamy Nitro Porter, with its rich chocolate and roasted malt notes. In a state that loves its dark brews, Utah embraces the distinctive. We love it! Vermont, Old Vermont. It is in Vermont. If sipping straight maple syrup were socially acceptable, Vermonters certainly wouldn't hold back. Well, one way to get that maple fix is the Old Vermont Cocktail, a delightful blend of gin, orange juice, bitters, and the quintessential Vermont touch, maple syrup. Do you smell maple syrup? Virginia, George Washington's rye whiskey. I like to go rye, rye. Beyond his obvious fame, George Washington, a Virginia native, holds another distinction. He distilled whiskey. Founded at Mount Vernon in the 1790s, Washington's rye whiskey distillery at one point was America's largest and is still in operation today. Are you guys open? Are we open? Washington, Washington Apple. Get my apple while it lasts. Born in the 1980s as a creative solution for surplus apples, the Washington Apple Cocktail plays a tart tribute to the state's orchards. Combining apple liqueur and cranberry juice, it also fosters cross-border camaraderie with a healthy portion of Canadian whiskey. Just a little. West Virginia, the Copperhead. Why are you leaving us for Copperhead? In the scenic hills of West Virginia, the Copperhead Cocktail offers a more palatable encounter than its slithering namesake. Crafted with vodka, ginger ale, and adorned with a lime wedge, this libation becomes the perfect post-adventure refresher. It is refreshing. Wisconsin Brandy Old Fashioned. Coffee, brandy. A Wisconsin Brandy Old Fashioned swaps whiskey for a generous brandy pour, elevating the classic drink. Served with maraschino cherries, orange juice, a dash of bitters, soda, and ice, it's a Wisconsinite's take on cocktail tradition. Oh, how's that drink? Wyoming, Wyoming whiskey. 
Are we still going to Wyoming? In the rugged expanse of Wyoming, Wyoming whiskey stands as the undisputed favorite. With the state's name proudly embedded in its title, this whiskey is the embodiment of Wyoming's hardcore craft distilled spirit. Not for the faint of heart, it resonates with the cowboy culture that defines the essence of Wyoming. I figured, cowboy! We've got more than drinks on our menu, so stick around and tap on another great video. And show us some love and tap that subscribe button and that bell to join our notification squad.